Hello, I'm Don Toppy, and welcome to another episode of Going for Gold, the series where I tell you the fastest and easiest way to earn gold camo on your guns. So the weapon today is the MR6 pistol, it was requested by one of my subscribers in the comments, so if you do have any weapon that you would like me to cover next, make sure you do put it in the comments down below, and I will get around to doing it, so then you know the quickest way to earn it in gold camo, and then move on to getting diamond on all the weapons in that category. Just before I start telling you all the classes that you need to be using, basically what I do in these videos is I tell you the main class that you want to be aiming to use to earn the first 9 camos, and for the pistols it's headshots, and then I move on to tell you how you need to change them classes and how you need to change your playstyles to be able to complete all the challenge camos as efficiently as possible. So the class that you need to be using to be able to get them first 9 camos, which is 100 headshots as quickly and easily as possible, is this one that's on screen now. This first setup is a lot easier to earn than it was on last week's episode, which was on the shotguns, because all of these attachments on the weapon are pretty low level, so you can earn them really quickly, and they're really effective as well. So as I said, you need to get 100 headshots to get your first 9 camos. So with this class, I've tried to increase accuracy and increase headshot damage, so that you can kill in less shots, and also so that you're more likely to get more kills. With a headshot, as your aim is going to be more accurate, and you can get your sights up a lot quicker, than you can without using some of these attachments. So the first perk, as you can see, is an ELO sight. I chose to take this because the iron sights on this are alright, but they aren't really accurate enough to be able to get those headshots consistently because you can't really see below your reticles. So often you'll find yourself that you're shooting a little bit above the head and you won't get the kills and you'll end up dying quite a lot. For the attachments that I chose to take, I've chosen to take quick draw and high calibre. I chose to take quick draw because it means I can get my aim up a lot quicker and get them headshots a lot easier. Because hip firing with this pistol is really powerful but not that accurate, so you don't want to be hip firing when you're going for these challenges. And then I chose to take high caliber because it means that you can play in normal core game modes and still be able to get a one or two shot headshot at medium range. For my grenades I've decided to take two concussions so you can concuss into a room, go in all the enemies will be disorientated you can easily get a lot of headshots. The perks I've decided to take is afterburner, fast hands and gung ho. Afterburner because using a pistol you want to move around quickly because all these sort rifles will be able to kill you really easily so by having this it means you can just use your movement abilities a lot quicker. Fast hands, because that goes really well with your quick draw grip, it means you can get your aim up really quickly on people's heads. And for perk 3, I've chosen to take gung-ho, this means you can throw your tacticals as you're running, and also you can start off shooting by the hip, just to get a couple of shots into them so then they're damaged, then when you do get your aim up, it'll only take one headshot to kill them. Moving on to the way that you need to be playing, if you want to be able to get all these headshots as quickly as possible, I would recommend only playing in core game modes, I wouldn't say playing hardcore, they're better for the challenge ones at the end, because hardcore, it kills too quickly, you start shooting, if you're not hitting them in the head first time, they're dead anyway. So you want to be playing in core game modes, just shooting as fast as you can, your trigger finger will improve as you play, and you'll be able to shoot bullets a lot quicker at the end than you could at the start. And you just want to start doing damage to them in body shots before you pull your aim up, and then shoot them in the head for the final shot. Because I found that if I took time to aim for the head for the first shot, then I would often die. So playing like this just means that you're going to be able to get more kills and not die as much. Because even if you aren't getting the headshots, you're still getting them kills and staying alive so you can get a headshot on the next enemies that you come across. It doesn't really matter what game mode you're playing on, but just make sure that you are up close to the enemies because you don't have a long barrel on. So it's going to take a lot of shots to be able to kill them, even if you are hitting them in the head every time. Moving on to your next camos, which you have to complete challenges to get. And for all of these, I'd recommend that you go into hardcore, just because the time is kill is so much quicker and you'll be able to earn them a lot easier. And see you after going for headshots, you don't really need to be that accurate, you just need to hit them a lot. So for your first camo, which is Ardent, you need to get 10 long shots. This is the same for every gun. I can normally do it pretty easily on other guns, but for this one, it was probably one of the hardest. Just because the range of this gun isn't very good, and you have to make sure that you are sitting quite far back, because it doesn't really shorten the range that you need to be at for it to count as a long shot. It's only a little bit less than what an assault rifle would be. So you just need to sit back a lot and just fire as fast as you can. And for this challenge, and all the other challenges where you can have any attachments that you want in your gun, you want to be using the best class that you can which is normal iron sight with the long barrel attachment and laser sight one concussion the same perks but with awareness as an extra on perk three this is a really good setup because the long barrel gives you the extra range that you need and the laser sight really helps them hit fires because with the laser sight on you can get really accurate hip fire shots with this which means that you don't always have to be bringing your sights up which does take a bit of extra time meaning that you can stay alive for longer for the second challenge camo called burnt for this you need to get 50 kills with mr6 without any attachments equipped so just take for this and add on any other perks that you feel like you need or any extra grenades for your third challenge camo called bliss this one has changed from what it normally is now it is 50 kills with the mr6 without any perks equipped it's normally with five attachments but because you're on a pistol you can't have five attachments so you just need to take off all your perks you're gonna have a lot of empty slots but there's nothing else that you can really add on to it you will notice the difference those perks been making you won't be able to hear the enemies coming and also you won't be able to get your sights up as quickly if you wanted to you could replace your laser sight with a quick draw grip just then you can still get your sights up a little bit quicker even though you don't have the fast hands perk 
The fourth and fifth camos, Battle and Chameleon, are the same as in every gun. So for Battle, you need to get two rapid kills five times, so five double kills. And then for Chameleon, you need to get five bloodthirsties. Battle's pretty easy, you should be able to get that whilst you're doing it, like I say in every other video. But with Chameleon, it's really hard with this gun. It took me ages. I think I played for about another five games, which is unusual because I usually complete the one at the same time as all the others just whilst I'm using them. But that just takes you a lot of time and you just have to play a lot slower and a lot more defensively. So that is everything I have to tell you on how to earn the gold camo on the MR6 pistol as easily and as quickly as possible. If you do have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments down below. I'll reply to you pretty much straight away. And if you have any guns that you want me to do for next week, make sure you tell me that in the comments as well. I will be able to do that for you. But if you have enjoyed, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for all the recent support and I'll see you in my next video.